Hi, it's Marianne, the Frugal Chef. Let me show you how to make crepes. You know, crepes can be used for all kinds of things. You can have them for sweet, you know, desserts. With uh, you can fill them up with apple filling, with of course, of course, oranges to make crepes set. You can fill them up with berries, uh, all kinds of things. You can also make them salty. You know, you can fill them up with chicken and mushrooms and asparagus and white sauce and all kinds of stuff. So let me show you how to make these, okay? All right, so let's work on our crepe batter. I have four eggs in here, which I'm gonna whisk by hand. To this, I'm gonna add about a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, okay? I used to make this batter in the, in the blender, but you know what? I've, I have come to the conclusion that when I whisk it by hand, it is just a lot better. So, so this is why I just make it by hand. So I whisk these for about a minute. They have, they're nice and frothy now. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start alternating my flour and my milk mixture in here, whisking at all times. I don't want to have a lumpy batter, so I need to work on it, okay? I have, I'm going to add two cups of flour and two and a quarter cups of milk, okay? So let's start with the flour. So let's start with the flour. Put a little bit in. Whisk it in. And don't start panicking because you will start getting a bunch of lumps in the beginning. Don't worry about it. You'll work those out. Now I'll put some of my milk in. Now, you know, crepe batter has to be quite thin, okay? You don't want a thick batter. Uh, it needs to be thin. So see, as soon as you put the milk in, those lumps tend to go away. So we'll put some more in. And so on and so forth. So let me finish doing this. You don't need to sit there and watch me alternating my milk and my flour. Let me finish this and I will come back to you as soon as I'm done with that, okay? Okay, now I have all my flour and my milk in here. So now I'm gonna add a quarter cup of, of melted butter. Okay, this is, about, is, is half a stick, okay? So now I'm going to go ahead and whisk this for about a minute. I want it all to be nicely blended. I don't want any lumps in here, and I can tell you from right now, I have no lumps in here. My other arm is now tired. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and cook these, okay? Okay, this, this batter is done. I just want you to check it out. It has no lumps in it. It's nice and smooth. It is quite thin, okay? And that's how you want it. You want your, your batter to be nice and thin, okay? So now let's get ready and, and, uh, and cook these. You don't need a special pan to cook your crepes, okay? As long as you have a skillet that's non-stick, you'll be fine. This is a 10 inch, that's the size I want my crepes. Now if you want them a little bigger or a little smaller, or your skillet's a little bigger, a little smaller, no big deal, use what you have, okay? I want you to have a plate ready, okay? And also a paper towel which you wet and you really took all the water out, the excess water out. Because you're gonna be placing your cooked crepes on that plate and covering them with that paper towel so that they don't dry up, okay? Okay. So we want to go ahead and put a little bit of butter on our pan. Let's pour in some batter and very quickly I want you to pick it up and to roll your pan like this so that you coat the whole thing with your batter, okay? Once your prep moves easily, okay, it's ready to be flipped, all right? Um, use a spatula. and flip it. And that's it. Now we're going to let the other side cook. Let's do this again. Put in a spoonful of batter. Twirl it in the pan. And let it cook. You know, the first few uh, the first couple crepes you're going to make are probably not going to come out beautiful and don't worry about it. 
as soon as your pan gets to the perfect temperature, that's when you're, it's going to be a cinch to cook these, okay? So now we're just going to let this cook until we can slide our spatula underneath it easily and then we'll flip them. They also start moving freely on the pan when they're ready, okay? They start bubbling a little bit in the middle. Now, it's a matter of preference if you want them browner or not, okay? Um, you know, I like a, maybe a little brown on them, but not necessarily. So, um, you decide if you want to leave them a little longer for them to brown a little bit, okay? I'd say that the good timing for these, two minutes per side. Okay, so see, I can scoop my spatula underneath it, no problem. Just put it on there and let it cook. So tell me that's not easy, 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 easy. You want your crepes to be thin, but they don't have to be, you know, paper thin or there's no exact thinness for your crepes. So please don't stress out. Just, you know, make them as thin as you can and they'll, they're going to be perfect. Don't worry about it, okay? So let's finish cooking these. An important tip is make sure that that damp paper towel that you have on top of the cooked ones is always damp. It might dry up with the heat of the pancake, of the crepes. Go ahead and wet it and really squeeze it again and put it on top. You don't want these edges to get crunchy on you and that's how you're going to keep them from doing that. Okie dokie, I will see you when these are done. Here you go, my friends. We have 12 beautiful crepes. They were so easy to make, weren't they? Now, a couple things about this. The batter that we made, you could keep that in the fridge for about 24 hours if you wanted to. The, the butter might separate, but don't worry about it. Just whisk it before you cook them, okay? Another thing is, if you want to make these in advance, go ahead. You can freeze these and, they, you know, and they'll be perfect. All you have to do is separate, you know, first of all, cool them down completely, okay? These are still a little warm. Wait until they're completely cooled and then um, put wax paper in between them. Wrap them nicely so that you don't have any freezer burn on them. And there you go. You can, you can freeze them for up to two months. That way, you know, if you're in a hurry, you can whip up a nice little dinner, fill these up with... Uh, asparagus and hollandaise sauce, or chicken and mushrooms, um, even salmon if you want, you know. And, or you can make a nice dessert, uh, fill them up with Nutella or, or berries and cream, oh, yum. Um, this batter, I didn't put any sugar in it as I told you because I'm going to use these for, for uh, salty filling. Next week, I'm going to make my batter that I use with sugar, that, you know, that I use for desserts, and that one has sugar in it, so I'll, I'll post that next week, okay? For now, my friends, bon appetit from thefrugalchef.com. Make sure you come and visit us. We have all kinds of recipes that are not in video form. Eat well without going broke, and I will see you soon.